Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 8 of the third season of My Academy today. So in this last episode we saw some bad things happening and uh, one of them being uh, Bakugo being kidnapped by these villains. So it, um, like at first it seemed that uh, these heroes managed to retrieve those uh, small balls uh, from that guy that uh, who contained uh, uh, Tokoyami and Bakugo like compressed. But uh, it seems that it was just like a trick uh, from this guy, so it was just uh, some ice balls. So in the end they managed to, to get Bakugo, and I still don't really know what they want to do with him. I, like my biggest guess is that they want to turn him into a villain because of like his, uh, his temper and all of that. But yeah, we'll see what Bakugo decides to do. Maybe this will also be a changing point for him and for, for the way that he's like behaving and all of that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we also saw how, how Kirishima was like really trying to go and save Bakugo and wanting to do something for him because he feels a bit guilty that they didn't uh, manage to save him at that time. But yeah, it's a, it's a really complicated situation and I mean the pros are already working on it and thanks to Momo's tracking device, uh, they can basically like track where these guys are, the villains. So I think they should like um, leave this a bit to them uh, because if they decide to do something by themselves they can just like put themselves into danger and then the pro heroes will need to worry about them as well. So yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, really curious uh, to see what uh, Ida is going to talk with. Um, I think it's Ida who's going to be talking with Dekwa, I'm not sure, it was in the preview. But yeah, we'll see what they talk about and yeah, I'm really excited to be watching this. I mean, it's really like escalating. We are starting to see more action between uh, these villains and these heroes. So the villains are having like a bigger impact. Uh, so yeah, anyway, really excited to be watching this again. So I hope you guys are ready and let's start it. It's quite sad that a lot of people also got injured. Including Deku, I mean, Kirishima was kind of like pressuring him into like going and help Bakugo. And I mean, Deku wants to do it, of course he wants. I mean, he cares a lot about Bakugo. But at the same time, he's really injured. So he shouldn't like really push himself any further. They need to believe a bit in these pro heroes as well, even if they want to do something by themselves. This isn't really started with lots of action, which is quite nice. But like the, the second season was like more like on the fun side. We got to see a lot of fun moments, like the festival. Some emotional ones as well, like some deep story about the characters. But it wasn't much about uh, like villains, except the part with Stain. And now we have like a lot of development happening. Now Might is really serious now as well. And also, like, one thing that he keeps saying is that they should save the ones that, that they can reach. Like, it's impossible to reach everyone. But they should help the ones they can. Exactly. Exactly what I was, I was saying. It's not his fault, though. Can't blame himself after the state he was in. He saved. He saved Kota before, though. Just can't do everything. I 
at this pressure. Yeah, it's either to Midoriya. So Momo is just going to create another one. Yeah. Yeah, Ida is not really comfortable about this. He knows what happened before. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thropy is so right about this. They can't go, like, just do whatever they please and use their quirks like that. That's exactly what the villains aren't happy about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Kirishima and, and Todoroki still want to go. Lots of kisses. Holy shit. Yep. Look at that. Damn. Yeah, it injures the body a lot. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. This is something that I was really worried about. He was so injured. And some of these can't be re like reverted. He keeps doing it. Oh, God. Yeah. He really needs to, to control this power. That's nice from Kota as well, recognizing him as a good guy. And sometimes these small acts are the most important. Just a simple letter can change everything.
and his mother is starting to get really worried as well. Hmm, and Jaeger. Hmm. Oh, is this about the villains? They're like uh, gathering everyone. Ooh, headshot. Yeah, it's like everyone is gathering. Even this guy, Gran Torino. Oh, and this one, Tiger. Oh, and Mountain Lady as well. And Kamui. I'm really glad they show their names. It makes it kinda easier to like remember them. Yeah, there they are, waiting for Deku. Yeah, she's probably like also wondering if, if it's Oh. And Deku. Yeah, in the end, it's up to her. She's the one who can create it. Oh, it as well. Yeah. It's kind of right. But you're doing it anyway. That punch. It's a sink. Hmm. It's a really tough situation. I understand both sides, but I think Ida is right. Yeah, that's true. Always oh, going to. And they're worried about what might what might happen. Apparently, the plan is only to rescue him, him, so they don't plan on fighting. But only gonna hurt. Only going to be hard to do it. Of course, they want him on their side. Damn. I just hope nothing bad happens to these guys. I understand that they really want to save Bakugo, but it is kind of right. They're like breaking the rules again. 
It was kind of the same as before as well. Probably wants to make sure they're safe. Probably wants to stop them if they... <laughs> this guy. Yep. It's really like hard to blame someone in this situation. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder. Oh. Probably a bit, yeah. Considering his way of being. I mean, they're doing everything to save a friend, so... Even if that means breaking the rules. Just really hope this doesn't backfire on them. As long as they don't get in trouble. Like, they shouldn't start any unnecessary fights. Man, this guy. Yeah, like. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yep. Oh, some clothes. Yeah. Oh my God, this guy. Ooh, looks nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, either. <laughs> you look so funny. <laughs> I like these guys. Um, that's also true, yeah. <laughs> that would be, yeah. Her quirk is so powerful in that aspect. But she's like really, she doesn't want to be like, like that. Oh.
Oh, this guy. Yeah, this is... Yep. Yeah, that's the ideal. Yeah, that's it. They don't accept that heroes try to get something out of their actions. Oh. They're really trying to get him on their side. <laughs> this guy is fun. Damn, just like that. Yep. Holy. Even his hand fell. That's really nice. Damn, this moment though, Bakugo is not going to like fall in their trick. That's really nice at least. But yeah, it was pretty clear now that these guys are basically, they're not doing this just because they want to, to commit crimes or because they want like to, to kill these zeros. It's, um, it's mostly that they want to change like this society and how these heroes are like getting like um some retribution for what they do basically they're like either being paid or like looking for glory and these villains they they are basically against that they want heroes to be like basically like deku who's not like worried about any compensation is not looking for glory it's just, it's just like looking to save people and that's what these villains want this society to be like this society to be like so so yeah it's a i really like the way they're doing this how it's not just like bad guys against good guys in the end some of these villains are are probably not even like bad guys they are just like trying to change the the society like i said so yeah either way like their actions uh, are still like a bit wrong so 
we'll see what happens from now on. But I kind of like, I, I I can understand both sides. It's a it's a really complicated situation. Oh. Yeah, it was attached to. It was attached to the Nomu, so the Nomu went like a, to the factory where they basically produced them. I don't know if the, they actually found out like a even a bigger place, like a like a more important place. Maybe the the place where this leader of the League of Villains is, like the the one with the Alpha One quirk. So so it'll be interesting to to learn that. Anyway. This was a really interesting episode, and they uh, like ended up all going and, and trying to save Bakugo. Uh, but yeah, it's a really dangerous situation. But apparently, they are not even like um, close uh, to Bakugo. Uh, like I don't know exactly where they are. It's like a, a, a normal factory. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Hopefully, they don't get in trouble uh, because like the the like the um, the environment like around there like the it's a really like tense situation right now. Like these heroes are like being targeted a lot by the society. Like um, like these villains are basically getting what they want, and it's a really complicated situation. They need like to be really careful about what they do so it doesn't get any worse. But yeah, we'll need to see what happens from now on. But really liked how they did this episode, and thankfully Bakugo is not going along with his uh, villains and like being like a. Like changing his mind about uh, about this whole situation. So at least there's that. Uh, really excited to be watching the next one to learn more about this. But right now this season is really good. Like I'm really enjoying how this is developing, and like we are seeing way more things about this situation between villains and heroes, and like the other seasons. Uh, even though in the first one we got like that that situation, uh, the first one with these villains. Uh, but yeah, this one is focusing more on that, and I really, I'm really happy that they're developing it uh, a lot from now. Uh, so yeah, really curious to see what happens next. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel, and you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So see ya.